हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द रेकॉन सिविल एकेडमी न्यू वीडियो एवरीबडी नो द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नेगेटिव मार्क इन दिस वीडियो आई विल टेल यू हाउ टू एवॉइड नेगेटिव मार्किंग सो डेट योर गेट एंड इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज रैंक विल बी कंसिडरेबली इंक्रीज वॉट इज नेगेटिव मार्किंग मार्क्स डिडेक्टेड फॉर रॉन्ग आंसर द परसेंटेज इज वन थर्ड मीन्स थर्टी थ्री परसेंट मार्क्स विल बी डिडक्टेड फॉर ए रॉन्ग आंसर सो इफ यू मेक ए वन मार्क रॉन्ग आंसर योर marks deducted will be 0.33 so actually how much marks you are losing you are losing 1.33 and if two marks question is wrong then you will deduct it with minus 1.6 so how much you are losing you are losing 2.66 this is important these two you are not losing 0.66 you are losing 2.66 because that question is wrong so you lose two marks and then additional 0.66 so 2.66 i will give example of two of my student one who use my techniques and get considerable good rank and another who unable to use my technique and failed miserably the first name is vardhman chajar so i will call it v and another because of his uh, personal issues i will not name him but it is s so it is vardhman and it is s let it be now what happened both have equal caliber both are final year student of civil now what happened vardhman attempted 68 marks in 2016 gate attempted and s attempted 89 marks vardhman secure 64 and s secure 51 if you see the rank difference vardhman got around 340 rank got selected in isc bangalore and two of the psu and what happened to s he got rank around 1700 and no selection again doing the preparation so what went wrong with s which vardhman has not done vardhman follows my strategy which i am just revealing to you four marks deducted which means three one number marks are wrong for vardhman so approximately he lose four marks now how he has done it i will tell you just now it was not during the exam that vardhman has able to get better it is the mindset of vardhman so i will say v and s so what is the preparation your first uh, rule is so what is rule number 1 while while preparing always solve 20 question at a time that is rule number 1 i have seen many student who solve one question then see the answer then solve the second question then see the answer then solve the third question and see the answer this is a wrong way to preparation so what you need write 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and up to 20 then solve all those question whatever the options are then check your answer this is the first rule while preparing never do one question at a time always 20 or more the more you do the better it is initially start with 20 and then at the final stage you can reach up to 50 now i will tell you why i am saying so the reason is when you do lot of questions you are actually in a mind frame of the real exam every day you are in a mind frame of real exam that you have to stretchly doing the question second thing after that when you solve up to 20 or 50 what is whatever your level of preparation is now you come to these questions and check why they are wrong when you have prepared a subject and now you are practicing why these questions are wrong and there comes my concept of level 1 level 2 and level 3 so what is level 1 level 1 are easy and fundamental question as per gate committee who conduct the gate exam the definition of level 1 is recall and and comprehension it means they are easy very fundamental question what are level 2 questions the level 2 question are analysis and synthesis and level 3 are not for you that is my definition okay what is level 1 they are very easy question and their weightage is 50% in the exam 50 to 60% yes it is 50 to 60% what is level 2 question they are analysis and synthesis and they mostly have 30% or 35% weightage and level 3 is 5 to 10% mostly one marks question are of level 1 two marks and two marks mostly it is a broader sometime it happens here also and here also sometimes 
बट थ्री इज ऑलवेज टू मार्क्स ऑलवेज यू शुड एबल टू जज डीज क्वेश्चन एंड अकॉर्डिंगली स्पेंड योर टाइम ऑन द क्वेश्चन इफ यू आर टारगेटिंग एट्टी मार्क्स और सेवेंटी मार्क्स देन फॉर थ्री आवर्स हाउ मच टाइम यू हैव फॉर सिक्योरिंग वन मार्क टू पॉइंट टू फाइव एंड फॉर दिस अराउंड टू पॉइंट फाइव Now, if you remove one marks question, then you have at least for two marks, you can spend as much as seven minutes. If you are aiming eighty marks only, if you are aiming for seventy marks only, as Vardhaman has done, so for every two marks, he can spend around eight minutes. He was not in very hurry in the exam because he practiced this thing. he come to know that level 2 question will take time i am only requiring 70 marks to get into top 200 and at the when you are moving up every one mark count as you move up every one mark count friends so if you lose one question you can say you are losing 20 ranks if you are preparing seriously for every one mark you are losing 20 ranks or more as you come down this will increase but let us say you are aiming for top 50 then for every one mark you are losing one 20 to 30 ranks what you need to do while practicing always try to solve 20 and more questions and then analyze what went wrong is it a silly mistake let us say question number 2 is a level 1 question but you are unable to get the answer it means you have committed a silly mistake might be you are uh, you want to put c and you have put b or there are other reasons also so try to avoid that and for that what you need to do you take some time to the answer it is a very important term time to the answer what it means after finding the answer give time think about it ki yeah this is the right answer think that you have opted the right one at least give 10 to 20 seconds to your answer see that you have done it right because this is very important no silly mistake you can afford friends that is the first thing come to the question number 5 let us say it is a level 2 question and for level 2 question you have done a calculation mistake what happens mostly in the question uh, level 2 question you are unable to solve and you come into the trap of the examiner so there might be some calculation mistake there are some question in the gate where you have to fill the answer something like that some value and you have done a calculation mistake so for that these time will become important you should keep in mind that i have ample time to solve two marks question 7 to 8 minutes for this if you are targeting 70 marks and in no way in the exam like gate 70 marks is a bad score 70 marks is a very good score you just have to concentrate yourself on the calculation part while practicing never try to be in hurry for level 2 question map your brain that this is a two marks question this is a level 2 question and i need to solve it comfortably and i know this question i just have to be cautious on the calculation part that is important come to the sixth question which is wrong and it might fall into the third level 3 category and what is level 3 level 3 means not for you it is some vague question for some phd student some very deep understanding of some very narrow topic no problem you just have to identify level 3 and skip it that is only thing you need to do never try to attempt level 3 question the best is just judge the level 3 question and get out from it so it will take 30 seconds to identify that this is a level 3 question i am not prepared for this say to yourself i am not prepared for this and i am going to leave it what will happen you will save 0.66 marks because you are not attempting it is very important to identify level 3 question and that will come when you do these pattern solve 20 question find that okay sixth you the topic you prepared still the question is of level 3 do not prepare for level 3 question because they are very deep rooted questions some vague questions some very high fundamental problems you might not be prepared for this so avoid this thing that is the best you can do my rule number 2 so what is my rule number 2 the rule number 2 is never guess the answer in hindi when we say tukka maarna so never guess the answer tukka mat maariye dost gate and engineering services are life changing exams 
for any engineer do not put it on the verge of your luck if you feel you are very lucky go and buy a lottery ticket but do not guess the answers what most of the student do at the end they put five questions as to come or not i have just guessed no do not guess only gate and es can be cleared through hard work do not rely on your luck it might be that you are the unlucky person and what happen with my student s will happen to you you just concentrate on your hard work this is a very important thing which student forget whatever the paper is how badly you are doing in the paper but never guess many student when uh, i talk after the exam say sir the preparation was not up to the mark so i at i only know 40 marks so what i have done I have guessed 30 marks. No, absolutely wrong. Go for 40. You never know what happen at 40. Might be really all the student are facing that their paper is very tough. It might be that a 40 is a very good score. Now what you have done? You don't know what other students are doing. You guess 30 marks and lose your mark. 40 is a good score. Feel it, but never guess the answer. This is a very important rule which many student forget while attempting the paper. I request you not to guess the answer. Whatever your preparation is. go ahead give your best shot when you prepare for next year that may be also one of the case then you know that how you get that 40 mark but when you guess you don't know what is this you might get for 20 22 marks so you will never understand what went wrong so if you if you are going to gate or esc as a experience and then you will prepare then also do not guess the answers if you follow these two golden rules i am sure you will save lot of negative marks and secure good ranks in a gate and engineering services i wish you all the best for your exam thank you enjoy your engineering